Good morning and welcome to Hashtag Rise and Bond. I am your host, Glenn Lundy. I am a husband to one, a father to six, and the general manager of Dan Cummins, a Chevrolet Buick in Paris, Kentucky, the second largest used car franchise dealer in the United States of America. It is 5.30 a.m. and I hope that you are ready to rise and grind. Good morning, good morning, good morning. What's up, everybody? Today is Wednesday, August 15th, 2018. I have a powerful powerful episode for you today. I am feeling incredible this morning. I hope you're feeling incredible this morning. Today, August 15th, that's actually my ex, my oldest daughter's mother. That is her birthday today. I got to make sure to send her a shout out and wish her a happy birthday. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't have my beautiful 19-year-old daughter, Kira. So I got to make sure to do that. I got to make sure not to forget. But we are getting ready to have an incredible episode of Hashtag Rise and Grind. Because I can tell you, I am still 100% floored by the event that happened this weekend. I am 100% Floored. I'm telling you, all of the pictures that you guys keep posting, all of the videos that I keep seeing, all of the comments from this whole deal, I mean, it has been absolutely amazing. It is amazing. I'm still trying to total up like all of the donations that we raised for the YMCA. I don't even know what that total is yet because the food trucks donated money and you guys donated money and the ticket sales all was for money and the t-shirts all was money. You know, it was all just great for the YMCA. So I'm still not even sure where we're at. But I'm still just floored. I keep seeing like Dave Clayton. He posted an incredible video from the Rise and Grind event. It was amazing. Uh, Brandon. Brandon's posted all these pictures right here that make me look like, you know, like a bad A. You know what I'm saying? I got these awesome pictures uh, of, of the crowd and... Um, you know, just the, the pictures of all the volunteers getting around and helping each other. Like, it was just an amazing event, dude. I'm telling you, I'm still on this high from the event. And we people have been asking if we're going to do another uh, do do another one again next year, which I'm not quite putting that out there yet. But something tells me that we may or may not have another Rise and Grind event next year. I don't know. We'll see. But it's just been awesome it was an awesome experience it was over the top unlike anything i ever experienced right unlike anything i ever experienced it was just great it was just great and so i was still on this like event high you know and i was pretty tired on monday i was really glad to get back to work uh at the dealership i was glad to get back into my elephant uh, and, and glad to get back with my people so that was exciting but i was super super tired you know I was super, super tired, but I went in Monday 100%, dove in, and, 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 you know, what a blast I had. Like, I actually had a blast at work, which is crazy, but I was just excited to get back in there. And then I started to realize some stuff, and, like, now that it's, it's Tuesday, you know, today's Wednesday, and I've had some time to reflect on, like, the whole event and... All of the experiences that came from it and what it looks like and what it means in my life. And so, like, I'm going to dive into this important lesson. I'm having a hard time explaining it without explaining it. So, I am going to dive into this lesson that I learned. But first, before I dive into it, you know what we got to do. So, before we dive into it, and I got something powerful to share with you guys today. I'm telling you, it's powerful. But before we dive all the way into it, I want to make sure to say good morning to you, and I would love it if you would say good morning to me. I'd also love it if you'd say good morning to other people in the group. I'd also really love it if you would hit that share button, because see, when you hit that share button, it has an opportunity. This show has an opportunity to change the way someone starts their day. And when we change the way someone starts their day, we can make an impact on this planet. You want to make an impact on this planet today? Hit the share button. Good morning, my friend Tom Russell. What's up? Good morning, Eddie Gilbert and Tabitha Hubble. Good morning, Sterling Leach. Pleasure to see you, my friend. Good morning, Vicki Everett and Bobby Cooper. What's up, Amber Jackson? Mr. Brad Wise, my friend, my respected colleague. It's great to see you in here this morning. 
this morning on Hashtag Rise and Grind. What's up, Mr. Darian Sanders? How are you this morning? Melvin Rodriguez, good to see you, my friend. Joshua Smith, uh, did that scroll back up? I think it did. Jay Heideman, my man, Scott Simons. What's up? Rick Berman, Terry Osborne, who makes the most incredible cupcakes, dude. I'm telling you guys, this, this chick, the, the cupcakes are amazing. Ann Gilbert, good morning. Susan Wilhoy, it's great to see you. What's up, Stephanie? You are on a roll with this show. Charlie McHale's up in here. Amanda Messer, Sean Weatherby, Steve Wetmore, my man Aaron Jones, Gail B. Crad, Tasha Mar- Mar- Marilovich. I don't see Josh O, so I'm not going to call him out. I guess I could have called him out, but not called him out, right? <laughs> Anyways, you guys, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is about to be a terrific incredible over the top day. Dude, we are looking at about 83 degrees. It's going to be 83 degrees here in Kentucky and beautiful. But check it out. Let me read this for you real quick. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. That's what happened with the Rise and Grind event. That's what happened. I had a vision, and I just followed. I had no idea what I was doing, but I was able to put it together. And for those of you that were there, you'll understand it, that that's what I talked about in my speech. And those of you that weren't there, we'll have it all streaming. We'll have it all on video, and I'll share it with you guys later. But listen, check this out. When I was 15 years old, when I was 15 years old, I created something called FM. Flagstaff Mafia. That's what I called it. And what it was was a group. It was a group of us, a small group of teenage kids, a small group of teenage punks that went around freaking just creating havoc in the city of Flagstaff, Arizona. I mean, we would like go across to the mega foods next door and we'd figured out, figured out ways how to break into uh, arcade machines. Back then it was like Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat and people would play these video games. They didn't really have the games you could play at home. I mean, they did, but they were real basic. So the real games, you had to go to an actual arcade and you had to put quarters in it. And me and my friends, we figured out ways how to break into those things and steal all the quarters without the people that own the machines knowing that we were breaking into them. And so we would break into those things and break into places and we would shoplift and we were just absolute punks and this was a group that I created as a teenager and I pulled in as many people as humanly possible I pulled them together and man I'll tell you at the time it was fun like I had a lot of fun as a kid doing stupid things it was fun being a part of the group it was fun being a part of the gang but dude it was bad it was like really, really bad, you know, like we did bad things. Like I look back at that person and I'm just like, how could I even think that for a second that those things were OK to take from others, to steal from others? And see, here's the thing. Other people followed me when I made these decisions. Other people followed me and other people were affected by the, de- the de- decisions that I was making. They they followed and were affected. But of course, It was in a negative way. It was in a really negative way. Now, when I was 20 years old, I joined this car dealership. And to be honest with you, I was super, like, suppressed for six years. This dealership kind of had old management. And the way that we worked as far as the hours of the dealership, I had absolutely no relationships. So, like, my ex, whose birthday is today, who I have a 19-year-old with, that relationship completely got destroyed i lost custody of that 19 year old when she was six years old i lost custody of her for eight stinking years she wasn't in my life she's back now but for eight years she was out of my stinking life because i was just in this environment where i was stifled i was unappreciated and i had this ability to draw other people to that right So other people kind of followed me. I brought a bunch of people to work with me in that same dealership. Other people were affected by me and by the decisions that I made. And it was not fun. It was not fun. And it was really, really bad. Like when I was 15, at least it was fun, but it was bad. But when I was 20, I was in situations that wasn't even fun. And it was bad. It was like the double whammy. 
And I was drawing other people into that. Other people followed me, and other people were affected by those decisions that I continued to make. Now, when I was 27 years old, I was a gambler, right? Big-time gambler. I lived in the casinos. That's where I lived. And I was chasing this dream, right? I was chasing a dream where I was going to be a professional poker player. And that's how I was going to make my impact on this planet. And it was going to be amazing. And I tried to drag other people in it with me, right? I tried. But other people were a little smarter than me when it came to that at that point in time. When I was a gambler, I had already made plenty of mistakes. When I was a gambler, I had no real friends. The only friends that I had or that I thought I had were the people that I sat across from the tables at. I ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner in these casinos. That was my life, and I completely separated myself from my family and to the point where I was all alone. I was all alone at that point in my life. I was miserable. The situations I was putting myself in were miserable, and they were really, really, really bad decisions. I was still continuing to make really bad decisions. So even though no one followed me, other people were still affected by me. They were most definitely still affected by me in a really negative manner, including, I mean, family members, anybody I came in contact with. Now, when I was 30 years old, I started running this poker league. I've got it tattooed back here on my neck. It's called Kentucky Blue Poker Crew. And what I did is I pulled together tens of thousands of people. I pulled them together and I made them each individually feel special, feel important, feel like they were the only one. And I had some really creative marketing. And this whole thing, it grew like crazy. This free poker league just took Kentucky by storm. I mean, I went from I went from at one point I was just me running a, a poker game at Two Keys Tavern one night a week to it grew where we were running seven nights a week and up to five different bars on any game given night with tens of thousands of members it grew like crazy and i'll be really honest with you it was a lot of fun creating that was a lot of fun but at the same time it was really really bad like it was really really bad it was really unhealthy i was bringing tons of people into this environment where we were spending all of our time in bars we were spending all of our time drunk we were spending all of our time trying to get high we were being promiscuous we were we were destroying our, our relationships it was bad it was Fun, playing poker was fun, getting together was fun, being a part of something so big that was growing so fast was fun, but it was bad. It was bad. So it was another situation where other people followed me, and a lot of people followed me, and, and a lot of people were affected by me. People followed me, and they were affected by me. They, it was bad, like in a negative way, right? In a negative light. Now, when I was 33 years old, I started at Dan Cummins, Chevrolet and Buick. And I was able to start pulling people together. I pulled people together and I made sure that everyone felt special and felt important and felt like they're the only one. Sound familiar? And I used really creative marketing technique, really creative marketing to draw people in from other states even to get people to move and to get people to buy cars from us, right? Really creative marketing technique. And the dealership has grown like crazy, right? It's grown 800%. In the last seven years, the dealership has blown up. And check it out. It's been really, really fun. It's been incredibly fun. Incredibly fun. And it's been really, really good. Like, for a long time, it's been really, really good. See, other people have followed me. Other people have followed me to the dealership. And other people's lives have been affected by the decisions that we've made at the dealership. Lots of lives. 300 employees, to be, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, not to count all of the outsourced industries and outs outside industries and resources that are affected by what we do. And all of the family members that are affected by the people working for a great company. So, at 33, I finally figured out that we can have a lot of fun and do a lot of good at the same time, right? So then when I was 40, when I was 40, I started hashtag rise and grind. 
this group right here that you're watching right now. Hashtag Rise and Grind. And I pulled people together and I made people feel special, feel important, feel like they're the only one. And I, I got real creative as far as the marketing, how to get people into the group. And it has been growing like crazy. It has been growing like crazy. And so I'm looking at this and I'm going, okay, at 15, other people followed me and, affect, and were affected by me negatively. At 20, other people followed me and were affected by me negatively. At 27, no one really wanted to follow me because it was miserable and it was bad, but it still had a massive effect on everyone around me. At 30 years old, other people followed me, but they were affected by me negatively. At 33 years old, finally, I finally figured out that people are following me and I started to make an effect on them positively. And now I've been able to repeat that with hashtag rise and grind. People are following and we are affecting them. We are affecting them positively. Listen, I have stepped into whom God designed me to be. I have found myself at 40 years old. I have found myself, this guy right here, this guy right here, and I love this picture that Brandon took because the picture is my back, right? I, it, it's my back. I'm the center of the picture, but what I see is all of those people. I see everybody out in the audience. I see everybody out in that crowd holding up their phone. I see everybody's lights. I see the lights because there is this light inside each and every single one of you. And that is what I am trying to extract from the people at the dealership. That's what I am trying to extract from you. That is what I'm trying to do with hashtag rise and grind is I am trying to bring out this light that is inside you that maybe has been dim for an incredibly long, long period of time that maybe you have suppressed, that maybe you have used negatively, that maybe you have led people the wrong way or you have used for bad i am trying to take this life that god breathed into you i'm trying to take it and extract it and bring out that light and that's why i love that picture right there because that's me in my element doing what god designed me to do you see i am a husband to one a father to six and the general manager dan cummins chevrolet and buick in paris kentucky the second largest used car franchise dealership in america and i am the host of hashtag rise and grind when you start to step into your day knowing who you are it is absolutely exhilarating it is exhilarating when you are stepping into who god designed you to be it is exhilarating sleep i need less sleep because i'm excited to step into who god made me to be sick i don't get sick I don't get sick because I am stepping into the perfect version that God designed me to be. And it took me 33 years to finally start to tap into it. And it took me 40 years to really, really start to understand that I have this energy inside me. I have so much energy. I am rocking and rolling at 5.30 a.m. because I am stepping into the best version of me. I don't have problems in my life. I have opportunities to come up with solutions solutions in my life today know that when you are designed when that know that you are designed with purpose you are designed with purpose you know those moments that move you those moments like when you're just like man i feel this or man i get this or man that's that 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 moment you know the hairs on your arm stand up you know those moments i want you to start paying more attention to those moments because when it feels good and it's for good and it affects other people positively and it honors god God, when it fits those four things, it feels good, it's for good, it affects others positively, and it honors God, that is where you're supposed to be. Do you understand? That is where you are supposed to be. Here's what I know now, and this is the message I want to share with everybody today, and I want you to hit the share button to share with everyone around you. Here's what I know now. When you step into who you really are, when you step into who you really are, the entire universe shifts. 
hear me out. The entire universe shifts and the world around you, the world around you becomes brighter than you could have ever imagined. It becomes brighter than you could have ever imagined because no one on this planet is better at being you. No one is better than you at being you. And the best version of you is exactly what this planet needs. It is exactly what this universe needs. It is exactly what I need, what your friends need, what your family members need. It's what your community need. They need you to be the absolute best version of you that you can possibly be. Do you understand? Listen, you are this amazing, amazing human being. Uniquely made by God himself, the God of the universe. He made you To be the absolute best version of you that you can possibly be. And when you step into that, when you embrace that, everything changes. Everything in the universe changes. Because it makes an impact. It makes an impact on your friends, on your family members, on your co-workers, on every single person around you. It makes an impact. You See, you've chosen to be a part of this group, right? This elite group of people that we choose every day to hashtag rise and grind. And by you making that choice, by you reaching into this group, you've made an impact on my life. Do you understand? Look, that's you out there holding up the light, changing my life, helping me find my purpose. You've made such an impact on my life. And I, for one, I absolutely love you for it. I do. I absolutely love you. I'm not just jacking. You're amazing to me. If nobody's told you that yet today, I want to be the first. I absolutely love you. Listen. Bro. Sister. Whoever. Mama. Cousin. Whatever you need me to call you. Listen, I'm going to read this one more time, word for word. I'm going to read this just for you. Listen, when you step into who you really are, the entire universe shifts and the world around you becomes brighter than you could have ever imagined because no one is better than you at being you. And the best version of you is exactly what we all need. Will you do me a favor? Hit the share button. Make sure everybody hears that today because that's powerful. Also, if you need more videos, just go to glennlundy.com. You can find more videos there. There's like 150 videos up there or 160. I don't even know anymore. I don't even keep count because it doesn't matter. There's a bunch of them. If you need some Rise and Grind gear, you can find it at glennlundy.com. That's where you'll find it. All right? So head there. Check it out if you need more, and then come back here tomorrow morning, would you? Would you please come back here tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. as we continue to hashtag rise and grind. Have a phenomenal day today. Have an incredible day today. Step into the best version of you that you can possibly be. Search for those moments, those moments when it feels good, those moments where, where, where it feels good and it's for good. Step into those moments, and I'll see you tomorrow morning at 5.30 a.m. as we hashtag rise and grind.